Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to another tutorial video. This week we'll be looking at how to download different fonts and to use different fonts upon the internet. In this tutorial, the example I will be using is the Game of Thrones font. So what we're going to do, you go onto your internet browser, and this is the website you want to look for, Font Meme. If I go back, if you type in the font of anything you want to, uh, da font is another good one by here dafont.com but for this example I've typed in Game of Thrones font and the very first link here I'll put the link for this font in the description as well if you so need it you click on it it loads up and it shows you an example of the font and this is the character map it shows you what it's like so it's got the the lines going through the uh, letter letter O which is from the show so all you got to do is click on download it'll bring up this little download thing at the bottom save it to a certain location i'll just save it to the desktop for the sake of this tutorial so save and that's downloaded okay you then come out of this and on the desktop here you go there it is simply open your app you need to use a zip program 7zip or winrar are the two i would recommend i'm actually using winrar in this you then click on the font and it gives you an example of what it looks like all you have to do is then click on install i've actually got already got it but i'll i can click yes to replace it it installs the font for you, and that's all, all it is. The font can now be used on any program that you have on your computer. It can be used on Photoshop, it can be used on PowerPoint, Publisher, Word, you name it. Anything which you have to type things into on your computer, you can use the font for. Now what I'm going to do is actually show you an example. So I'm going to, go on to Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 which is the Photoshop program that I use for all of my YouTube thumbnails. Just going to open a blank page up on this tutorial. So we're going to File, New, 1280720, and we'll put some put some background in. We'll just put this plain background in for the sake of the tutorial. I'm going to quickly open up a new layer. So pretend that this is going to be a thumbnail. We're going to get white right in so it stands out. Click, click the actual thing you're going to be using. If I can... Oops, don't want to. What have I done wrong? I've done something wrong here. Show file, show. Don't show. There we go, right. Sorry about that. I was wondering why it wasn't <laughs> coming up, but it's come up now. So basically, I'm just going to click this off. So we're going to type in Game of Thrones. Like so, and that doesn't look right, does it? But we're going to change that. So if we click onto it, drop down arrow, and these are all different fonts. Many of these I've downloaded myself. I'm just going to give you an example. So Augustus is one of the ones I've used. Another one that I've used, let's have a look, Caesar. So if you want something kind of Roman looking, then you've got Caesar. But we're just going to pick out the Game of Thrones one. So click on Game of Thrones, it appears, gives you a sample of it. Boom, look at that, Game of Thrones. The very kind of font that we see from the show and anybody can use this and there we have it guys so i have been dragonheart the prince of wales i hope this tutorial video has been helpful if you want any more tutorials leave a suggestion in the comment section below and i will get back to you as quickly as i can i've been dragonheart the prince of wales thank you for watching until next time goodbye